Hi everybody! All right, welcome back. My name is Jess. This is Jess on a budget, and today we will be stuffing our savings challenge binders. Yes, I said binders because we have quite a few challenges we actually need to get through. Um, I haven't been able to touch them for almost the whole month of August. It's been a bit wild um, with having to pay for my procedure for my mouth and whatnot, but. That's over with, it's paid for, it's out of the way, our budget got freed up a little bit, and now we are going to focus on that. So, let's see here. We have, this is rollover cash from the last two weeks. Actually, a couple weeks because of those $2 bills I had held on to. And then this is my gas money that got paid out um, for going out of town for work. So, let's go ahead and put this all together, we'll give it a count, and we'll start with our savings challenges. Okay. So, all together, for our savings challenges, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 1, 2, 3, and 4. $174 to go into our savings challenges. So let's get this set up. All right, first I want to go over this with you. Uh, as mentioned before, I think I've shown it before too, I actually did have all of the um, uh, savings challenges for the books, savings challenges from Reinventing Renee purchased. I just, you know, I hadn't been using them, but I figured I wanted to use them now to make full use of them and bumping up my, you know, sinking funds and whatnot. So let's go through them really quick. So A is for annual subscriptions. Right now, um, we actually don't have any, you know, like streaming service or whatnot. We're just using what my husband has bought and we watch Apple TV uh, with that. So I could maybe, like through Apple TV, we don't have an Apple TV subscription, but um, we do want to get one back. I personally like Paramount Plus. He likes, what is it, HBO Max or now it's just Max, but We'll figure it out, but we can go ahead and save up for it. Uh, B is for big box Sam's, and I've actually already added some $2 bills in here for that. C is for couponing, because I do still love couponing. I love the idea of it. I um, Sometimes I spend my spending money on couponing. Uh, D is for debt. E is for emergency fund. F is for fundraisers. G is for giving, which we are almost done with. Um, H is for home stuff, so any of my home envelopes or envelopes that have to do with my home, that is what this can fund. I is for interior decor, another envelope idea I think I want to add. Uh, J, we couldn't, couldn't really think of anything for J, so we did jackets and we'll put it in our clothing fund. Uh, K is for kids, so anything that has to do with the kids. Um, we will put that in there and then L is for landscaping because that's going to actually be a big, uh, expense. So there's that. But let's go ahead and see what we got in our ones. We are definitely going to try our best to finish the G, the G's up. So we got three G's to add today. And then let's see. You know, I hardly see... C's. So let's go ahead and do that. And you know what? We'll just do one of what I have. How about that? Alrighty, so we'll put them in order so we're not all messed up here. Um, and let's go ahead and look at these $2 bills. So we have... Three J's. Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll just do them all. I think that's, yeah, that was my original plan with all of these was to just go ahead and do all of them because we need to get a little jump start on those. Okay. 
So, one, two, three, four, five. So we are adding these five $2 bills in here. So now we will have 12 in Big Box Stores Sam's Club. I'm gonna go ahead and get that colored in. Okay, so not the prettiest, but it is done. Hmm. Try and make sure it's dry before I continue on. So C is for couponing. This will be the first one that goes in there. And we'll go ahead and color the C. There we go. D is for debt, and we got one dollar to put in there today. And we'll go with purple, even though it looks pink. We'll just do purple. All right, G is for giving, and we have $3 to put in here today. So now for giving, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 dollars. Yes. So once this is full, we are gonna take this money and go in, um, shop for items that we can donate to our local food bank right now so i actually was able to go and volunteer some time and i donated some of my stockpile to them and they are in they're in need of a lot of items um more specifically like canned vegetables that that's something that they need a lot of right now and uh, i want to want to help with that but they when I donated a lot of my stockpile items which are just a bunch of hygiene and toiletry stuff they were completely out they had none to give and I was like really you guys are out of a lot of this I have a lot of this at home so I went home grabbed some stuff that day and went and uh, you know donated it plus then I volunteered because I wanted to see how you know my donation impacted our community like that and it was so great to see what I, I gave to them, you know, go to good use. And I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that I did that, that I, I did it again. <laughs> I did it a couple times though. So we got $7 to add for clothing. That's awesome. So we will get this colored in and I will be right back. All right. J is done. Go ahead and make sure that that's dry before I continue on. But I don't know. I just, I had a blast helping at the food bank. Um, what I was able to help do, you know, while I volunteered there was um, just basically like going, like sh doing the shopping list part and like shopping around in their little kind of like store setup that they have for their clients um and it was it was cool you know to see like how that process worked from the inside plus helping them restock after a distribution period so yeah but that is going to be all now for what i guess i'll call my bucks binder um thank you kathy for the idea from kathy's cash and coins she's awesome i love watching her videos they're so relaxing <laughs> But here we go. And this is our savings challenge binder. So let's see. It's been a while since I've been in here though. But we're gonna, we're gonna do something good in here. Um let's see, we'll go ahead and put two dollars back and put a five in, and we're gonna color a three. 
$3 one just for now. So this is mo the movie night savings challenge from Erica Budgets. And this challenge is going to go into our family fun envelope once it's completed. And it might actually end up going for a movie night. Like we haven't had one in, in a while. So uh, $45 is now in here. So that's, that's really nice. Um, really glad that I was saving up separately for home maintenance <laughs> because this challenge was coming right along and uh, so was the normal envelope. Uh, this was a challenge I made by myself um, to originally track when it was going into my binder uh, before, but we had to dig into it before I could finish up the savings challenge, so now it's just, it's here. Uh, so let's see here. Let's add... Fifteen. Yeah, we're going to add 15. So now we got 80 in here. But there we go. Now we have 80 in here and we are well over halfway now to completing this challenge. So that will be exciting. This will go into our home maintenance envelope once it's completed. And probably end up going towards a, another water heater. So it's not that we need a new one. It's that we want a second one. Because of the amount of water we go through as a family. Or not go through. But like in one night maybe all four of us want to shower. One water heater is just not going to cut it anymore. <laughs> so we have to like space out our shower times. You know mom and dad might have to stay up a little later. To take the shower after the kids. And so on and so forth. When I'm really tired that's not going to work. All right. I feel like I haven't done my challenges in so long. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But we're going to do roll the dice. Two fours. All right. So that is $8. But that's good, though. We only had one four done. So let's see if we can get some fives. Yeah. Okay. A five and a three. I'll take it. So that's $8 again. That's $16. We will go ahead and stop there. And add that to what we have already. Okay. So 10, 15, 16. So now we have five, or wow, five, okay. The other video I did like five equals 50. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, five and six, $106, that's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and trade these tens out for a 20 and that'll work for me. We are, now we're over halfway there to what is, the full amount on here, but we'll probably end up saving more than $210. Okay, we're gonna go on to our high roller savings challenge here, which is gonna use my D20. And let's see what we can do. Actually, so now, so before, the last time I did this, I remember I had to skip the double because I didn't have the funds to double 19. So we will, do that now and it looks like we got 14 do you see that there you go 14 is what we got so that's gonna be 28 so we will put two back and get 30 so 28 and we will go ahead and put that on here 28 Oops, there we go. I'll just put 14 to let it know that, let me know that it did 28. Or I did double it. So let's see, we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 2, 152 in here. That is awesome. I'm so excited to see what this will come out to by the time it's done. Um. All right, so 
Okay, so now we have our 100 honeys, and these are on bigger sheets. But what should we do here? I'm not sure. <laughs> what do we have change wise one two three four five six seven so we'll take seven out put the 20 in and that will be 13 how about that i think that that is a fair number to do today So now we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. What? 100? That was... <laughs> no, I did not rig that to happen. It just happened. That's pretty cool. There we go. 100. Um, so I also added this. And let me put that away. Uh, this is Summertime Chill. I got this from Lisa Grateful Me. This was a freebie. Um, I believe now that you do have to purchase it from her shop, which, you know, her Etsy shop. But let's see here. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh wait, so four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-eight. So eight is gonna be thirty-six. Mm -hmm. Let's make it two dollars. How about a smaller amount savings challenge? I think that is pretty reasonable. Let's actually look through here. the J and the C. That's fine. Because I think I want to hit my books binder again. So $2 is going into summertime chill. I still think it's summer out. It's still warm. It still gets pretty warm during the day. And I'm not okay with it. <laughs> I'm over the hot weather. So that one's done. Now we're on to Sudoku. All right. So let's see here. Do the purple, I guess. And um, let's see if we can finish this box. So we got, we need a two. About four, six. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna go, I, I played ahead, so I'm gonna go off the sticky note I had over it. I had a see-through sticky note over it. So these, are the numbers I went ahead and had on it. Two, four, and six. That's where they go. Um, so that is $12. 10, 11, I feel like this pink one has been floating around for a hot minute. So now we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. $116 in here. 
We are now over the halfway point for sure, but let's see. Can I make some change for some of the ones in here? One, two, oh wait. Uh, yeah, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, and ten. figure I should, you know, condense it a little bit. It was getting a little thick. All right, so now we're going to come over here to our sloth savings challenge. So this savings challenge is meant to go on for a while, and I'm doing, I am doing it the way that Kathy of Kathy's Cash and Coin is doing it, because I really liked it her way, and I'm doing, um, I'm rolling my 20-sided die you know, two times, once to pick the row and once to pick the amount that I'm saving in each row. So let's go ahead and do that. Eight. So row eight. Thirteen. Row eight and number thirteen. Let's color that one in. Number thirteen. And we'll get that amount. So ten. 11, 12, um, 13, maybe. Oh, I could have just done a five and taken two ones out. So 15 minus, those two. And that's good. All right, so now for our sloth saving challenge, we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, one, and two. 92 dollars. That's not bad. Not bad at all. So by the time we're done with it, it's going to be 4,200. I think when I hit 100 dollars, I'm going to go ahead and put it into savings or maybe into another. Um, envelope of mine, another sinking funds envelope, but I went ahead and added save off a wee to this. Um, I did get this on Etsy from snow stamper underscore budgeting, and she had three different ones for the printable version. There was a high budget, low budget, and then a blank one. So I made the low budget into an extremely low budget just to see how this would go for me. Um, I do have some little, um, let's see here, these like tab style stickers that I wanted to use to mark my spot so I can come back to it next time. Oops. But, uh, you know what, it's just who I am, I love orange. So we will start at go, and as far as I'm, I know, no, we do not start with two hundred dollars or start with however much money you get in Monopoly. Man, this does not want to go. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get. One die, I should say. And we'll go ahead and start. One. I'm gonna save one dollar. You see that? Okay. So, one dollar. Five. Oh. So we got one, two, three, four, Five. The electric company is save $7 on it. 
basically all I did was I made this one and I with by having the amounts on the low budget one um and it kind of it worked out pretty well six so one two three four five six we're gonna save another seven dollars five seven um definitely have enough let's keep going two so that would be save eight dollars I'm gonna take put the ten in and put two back six one two three four five six and save eleven and I yeah we're gonna we're gonna definitely stop there so save eleven Okay, sorry, I wanted to hit my Bucks binder again, so I was changing out some ones for uh, ones that I know like I hadn't hit yet, but we, um, for Saveopoly today, we saved 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, and 4, $34, and it comes with, you know, you can make it into an envelope much like I did. And then it also has this for a back piece. So you can literally put this towards any category you want. Um, I am just gonna, I'm not gonna use it um, yet. I might put it towards a bi another binder, I'm not sure. Or another envelope like that, but I'm not sure. But for right now, I'm just using it to save. Okay, so let's see, I know I put an A back in here, but do we have any more? Oh, we got two to add. Okay, so there's L's L. L. I'm gonna put these in order so I'm not here flipping through them all the time. And I. All right. So those are in order now. We got two A's to add to our annual subscriptions. So we will put that here. Go ahead and color it in. Okay. Hey, it's a start, right? Like everybody starts somewhere. Um, let's see, I don't want to add any more into Big Boxy yet, even though it was just depleted. Uh, so we'll skip over that. I got one more D to add in here. So, now it's got two. Um, e for emergency fund. We'll color this one red. Okay, so now it's got its first dollar as well. And then F is for fundraisers. For our children's school, they do attend a private school, which is why we do pay a tuition. Um, they are happy there. We are happy that they are there. So F is going into fundraisers. Didn't find any more G's. H is getting 
put into any of our home envelopes that may need it. So home maintenance or household or uh, what's the other one? Um, our home deductible or you know just anything that would be related to the home. That's what that will go for. I is going to be for interior decor and we have two dollars for that. J, we're not putting any more in there. K, we have one dollar for and that was split. Okay, so there is two dollars, and then landscaping we have five, but I don't. Do I want to put all five in here? It is going to be pretty expensive when it happens, so maybe just to give this a little boost, I think I will. Okay. So... go we we got a pretty good amount put in and got our bucks binder started off really well so I'm, I'm really happy with that but let's go ahead and get this last dollar put away here actually you know what I still have that five dollar bill that older five dollar bill over here off to the side so we will add that in here and we'll have six dollars to add to no dollar left behind i figured this challenge is going to take a while um so i don't have any issues keeping this five in here for a bit a bit but yeah cool so now, so we added six, we have 10, 15, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So $28 and no dollar left behind. I feel like this video is super long. I'm so sorry, but I will edit it down for sure. Um, so we added $6, we added five, and six but there we go and that is it for our savings challenges wow that it went fast but it went to good places so i'm really happy with how that went Alright, well thank you so much for joining me for cash stuffing our saving challenges today. My name is Jess. This was Jess on a Budget. If you are a new subscriber, I hope you continue to stay with us today or continue to stay with us as uh, we work our way to our financial freedom that we would like um, for my family and I. And then uh, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I truly appreciate it. And uh Maybe by the time you see this, I would have already posted my 100, or 100K, wow, that'd be a lot, but 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, if not, then that might be my next video. It all just depends how fast I get there. I think I have grown rather quickly as a new YouTube account, you know, creating account. Um, but I, I, I don't know, I couldn't be happier. This is so much fun to do, especially on camera. 
and it's a great way to track everything in case I mess up. I can now go back and see what I did wrong. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching me today. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!